What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. To changing the world. And I guess MJ is our partner. She's going to be doing, she's going to be researching for us. <laughs> Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. Yeah, so we know that Doc's lab got shut down by Norman Oz, uh, Osborn. And, um, and he's really pissed about it. But then he found some new backers. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? Yeah. No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious-looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada, yada, yada. So... <laughs> <sighs> Give me money. Will you... please... check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. So we got a School bunch of, like... are so much easier than real-life projects. I, I love this because we got a bunch of stories going on, on the sides and stuff that are part of the main story, right? Um, but I do hate, I was saying this all day yesterday, I hate these little, these little map things that I'm not going to do. That's true. Right. That cat thing. What we got here? Hmm, looks military grade. Weird. Spider-Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is, can you stop the bombs I've planted? What? Mystery Man's got recon points spread all over the city. Alright, are these more map missions I gotta do? All right, let's do it. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. Gotta hurry and defuse those bombs. Dynamite. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, I'm the worst superhero ever. How do you get a maximum score? Timing, webbing bonus. Okay. 
Nice work with the bombs, but you lean into your throat too much. Hurts the accuracy. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm a professional, and I get paid like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. MJ, Who's what that? did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the what picture I, I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. I guess you'll have to go to the party <laughs> to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. Yeah, let's do that. We don't need your help, Spider-Man. I'm not the real Spider-Man. I'm just here in costume. Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. <laughs> Why you guys gotta be so nasty? I'm such a better Spider-Man, though. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Hi, oh, Spider Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> Oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? <laughs> this is the end for you, Spider-Man. Now I have you. Oh. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> She's mad. Uh, looks okay, I guess. That guy throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. I'm looking hey, for up? Isaac Delaney. <laughs> I think he's on the dance floor. There he is. That's where I'd be. The lizard in the lab coat. <clears throat> hey, look, it's Spider Boy. <laughs> Is some one of your nemesis? We got uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Whip? Look at this guy. You're afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, who? What, what are you? Come on. Hey, fight. Oh, oh, that's not good. What the hell? Oh, snap! Oh my god. That didn't turn out the way he wanted. It's very sneaky here. <laughs> Take it easy. J just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back now. Oh, that's a real slap right there. <laughs> Let him go. That mask stays on there. Tight. Keep your head down. Oh my god. Don't kill him. I'm here to save 
save you. All this gotta hurt. Harry, I'm looking for Everybody Delaney. Okay? Dr. Delaney. Do you know where Dr. Delaney Good. would be? Uh, happy Halloween. How about some mood lighting? Do sneaky. Oh. Now where'd <laughs> they take the lane? Look at this dude. Sort of funny. Must be another way around. There's Dr. Delaney. Uh, uh, are you taking me? Dr. Delaney, I got you, Mike. Who are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. Ah! Oh, damn. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Don't kill him. Thank you. Don't kill you. Don't do that. No! Yeah, big guy. Big 
go. That's all of them. Gotta find Lee. <clears throat> oh damn. All hell's breaking loose. I don't wanna hurt you. Gotta stop them from hurting each other. That big guy again. You gonna find him? He was easy last time. Not that guy again. You'll be okay later. Get off me, dude. Hurting man. Right him couple, let's go. Jameis is gonna be talking about how he's taking down regular people. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. <clears throat> Fill them all up. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michael? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. <clears throat> Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city. But they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. The idea. What's the idea, Spider Man? Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborn. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Our best friend's dead. I had to go up there, okay. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. So we gotta do sneaky sneaky. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside.
There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? What security the hell? Call in. Nothing to see here. Standing by. Nothing Looks to see like here. like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. Get me. <laughs> All stable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. No. Initiating Delta protocol. God, Man, everybody's got drones these days. Stable teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. We maintain control level. Watch out, watch out. Okay, just two more modules. Attention all stable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Oh God! No. Stay vigilant. Copy that control. There it is. Damn it! Another subsystem is going offline. Nothing to see here. I need a team to scan the Nothing to see exterior. here. Copy control. Bird inbound. We're trying to like knock out the security, but we're just getting more security here. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. It's a little bit hard. It's a They almost got me. There's they the last have. one. What's up, Sko? How you doing? Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call. But keep tracking. There must be someone out there. There's nobody. Nobody here. Nobody here. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you Corruption. talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. Jackpot. GR27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. How convenient. AI controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. The good. High efficiency, consistent results. The bad. Viral delivery mechanism incorrectly targets immune system. Infected subjects, highly contagious. One subject exposed seven days later, all 40 subjects deceased. That's not good. Creepy. 
the ugly. One year twenty seven is devil's breath. Epidemic. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. That's no bueno. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. The That's why Lee wants this. him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. And the plot thickens. Hey, Pete. What's up? MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Oh my god. Go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. She's always that doing could go that. go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. MJ's gonna kill me, eh? She's gonna kill me. Stressing me out all the Looks time. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Right? I hope he's not too excited. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Of course you got caught. Of course. Reach him. Minutes earlier. That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. She's really establishing she that lures, Pete gave me work. that line, right? Call me partner. It's like call me friend or brother or something like that. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Enemies with a green outline are in the distraction. Whose bright idea was it to put a circuit board in a fence? How do you throw it? Use. Oh, I can't throw it in here. Okay. It was way. telling. It was telling me where to throw it. Okay. Gotta move now. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest must be Standish. He's here somewhere. What's that? Hello? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Turn the flash off. Got it. Time to move. <clears throat> Standish, I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. must know something about Dr. Michaels.
Or maybe I'm supposed to do this. Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Understood, ma'am. I don't care how many men Sable has. She won't be able to stop Martin Lee. See here. Continuing sweep. Looks important. Let's take a picture of it. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Gotta move. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego doesn't. Totally safe. Except we get caught because we already know we get caught. Morgan Michaels. Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. <laughs> he wants to kill me? He told him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm with Spider-Man. I'm a reporter. Oh. Spider-Man. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> Dang it, Spider Man. Why you gotta mess things up? <clears throat> 
always messing things up. <laughs> She's mad. She's mad. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Not happy, guys. Not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <laughs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was. <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. We all been there, right? We've all Man, been I'm worked there. Up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I and can. And it's also one in the morning. Ha, huh, a pigeon. The chase is on. No, I'm not going for that stupid pigeon. I'm not going for any pigeons. Hey, sorry I'm late. What's up, Doc? Parker, or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Okay. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. All right. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. No problem. We got it. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Yep. Nice. Okay, what next? Power relays. Looks okay. like some impedance in this neurosensor oh, gotta, circuit. Gotta calibrate it. All right. So. that one so let's go straight here turn up here we gotta go minus two
success. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. All right, so we gotta get to five. Uh, so we have three pluses and two minuses. Uh, probably. All right, so three pluses. So we're gonna go probably plus eight. So we need a total of minus uh, three. Okay. say we need a minus minus three okay oh wait oh yeah we gotta do that okay do that all right so let's do A small one, All right? Oh, we have to do it. Okay. All right, so we got to get this to a minus two. Nope, my math is wrong. <laughs> we got this to a minus three. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Math, baby. Doing math at one and one thirty in the morning. That difficult man. I got it, Doc. Two point eight milliseconds. Good work, Peter. Doc, I think this is gonna be a, this is a bad idea, man. That's cool, though. That is cool. Mild success. I call that unbelievable. Mild success. That was pretty awesome. Maybe this part's not going to be awesome, though. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. 
My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. See, I feel like in the comic books, they were never close. Just in the movies, they were close, and then, you know, he sort of oh, went Peter, crazy. Before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. That was cool, though. That was super cool. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. It looks familiar. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? It provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Now you're setting it up. I like that they're very close now. <clears throat> and, uh, you know... It makes the, uh, it'll make the change, it'll make the change tougher. Anyway, let's go, let's go read this. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. So exciting. You need a gallium silk so array to exciting. make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch, noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. I freaking love how they're setting up the... The auto story. Hmm. They're doing that really, really well. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. You're not going to do anything stupid, are you? Like, turn into a supervillain or anything like that? Probably. Probably not going to listen to me.